In 1992, 150 government leaders signed the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity. In 2010, they created biodiversity targets to address the underlying causes of biodiversity loss and promote ecosystem conservation. One of those targets was that, by 2020, the extinction of known threatened species would be prevented and their conservation status, particularly those most in decline, would be improved and sustained. In this study, researchers looked at whether that target has been reached, systematically gathering consensus feedback from a group of experts. The experts looked at the effects of conservation efforts on a select set of bird and mammal species for two periods, from the full lifetime of the UN Convention's existence from 1993 to 2020, and the shorter period within that when the conservation targets were active, from 2010 to 2020. The study researchers used the IUCN Red List to identify species to include in the expert review. They selected bird and mammal species that were near extinction during the time periods of interest and could plausibly have gone extinct, but didn't. Their panel of expert participants reviewed all the available evidence about which conservation efforts were used for each species and what the effects were. They estimated the likelihood that each species would have gone extinct if those conservation efforts hadn't happened, known as a counterfactual estimate. The experts estimated that between 53 and 82% of the nearly extinct bird species and 33% to 76% of the mammal species were saved by conservation efforts between 1993 and 2020. Looking just at the period of time when the conservation targets were in place, Experts estimated that this was the period when 39-78% to 78 of the bird species were saved from extinction, as well as 11-41% to 41 of the mammal species. Taking into account the number of species that actually did go extinct during the UN Convention period, the researchers found that extinction rates were between a quarter and a third of what they would have been if no conservation activities had taken place. Wild animals go extinct for a variety of reasons. For the birds in the study, the primary threats were invasive species, followed by habitat loss from agriculture and aquaculture, and hunting. The same threats applied to the mammal species in the study in reverse order. Conservation efforts for birds include invasive species control, on-site conservation, and area protection. For mammals, actions include legislation, reintroduction, and on-site conservation. The message here is a hopeful one. Conservation action does work, and these results can help us to encourage funders and the general public to support future efforts. The science says we are making a difference. The time is now to step up our efforts and continue to push conservation that is effective and humane for all animals. Special thanks to the Park Foundation for sponsoring this video.